The spinocerebellar tracts carry unconscious proprioceptive sensations from cord to the cerebellum and play an important role in muscular coordination. Proprioceptive information is obtained by Golgi tendon organs and muscle spindles. We have three main pathways. We will indicate each of them using different colors. With the red color, we will discuss the posterior spinocerebellar tract. The cell bodies of the first order sensory neurons lie in the dorsal root ganglia of the spinal nerves. The central processes of these cells enter the posterior horn of the gray matter through posterior roots of spinal nerves and relay in the nucleus dorsalis, also called Clarke's column, where is the second order neuron. The Clarke's column is present between C8 and L2 spinal segments. The axons from cells of Clarke's column pass to the dorsolateral part of the white column on the same side and ascend as posterior spinocerebellar tract. The fibers of the tract enter the cerebellum through the inferior cerebellar peduncle and terminate in the cerebellar cortex. With the blue color, we will indicate the coniocerebellar tract. The coniocerebellar tract is similar to the dorsal spinocerebellar tract. Specifically, it conveys information related to the upper limbs. The first order neuron lies in the dorsal root ganglia of the cervical spinal nerves. As Clarke's nucleus is not present above the level of C8, the fibers entering from the upper limb pass to the medulla via the cuneate fascicles, synapsing in the accessory cuneate nucleus, where it lies the second order neurons. The axons from cells of accessory cuneate nucleus go to the cerebellum by way of inferior cerebellar peduncle. With the green color, we will indicate the anterior spinal cerebellar tract. It conveys information related to the inferior limbs. The cell bodies of the first order sensory neurons lie in the dorsal root ganglia of the spinal nerves. The central processes of these cells enter the posterior horn of the gray matter through posterior roots of spinal nerves and relay in the Rexed lamina 7, where it lies the second order neuron. The axons of cells of Rexed lamina 7 cross to the opposite side and pass to the anterolateral part of the lateral white column of the spinal cord and then ascend to form the anterior spinal cerebellar tract. The fibers of anterior spinal cerebellar tract enter the cerebellum through superior cerebellar peduncle and terminate in the cerebellar cortex.